So the Apple Watch Series 6 was an Apple Watch that came out back in 2020, and I will definitely tell you this was. I'm gonna take you on a ride. We're gonna burn through the night. Why you're so salty? I'll still take a bite. Okay, okay. we can take my Lambo. I'll put on a tight show. You sure you can handle? We be faster than Django. Can't stop. This is still a very good Apple Watch for the most part. Realistically speaking, no matter what you're going to want to do from an Apple Watch, this thing is probably going to be able to handle it. But this was a very fascinating Apple Watch because literally the year right after this watch came out, we had the Apple Watch Series 7, which was actually a pretty big upgrade coming from the previous generation of Apple Watches. So this thing kind of sits in the middle of, you know, maybe being a kind of good Apple Watch to buy. But also there might be some other watches I'd recommend buying more like the Series 7, Series 8, and especially the Series 9. But most so like the Series 7 of being like a, you know, new kind of change. Now starting off with the outside of the Apple Watch Series 6, this particular watch did come out in two different sizes. So it came out in that 40mm size and then that 44mm size as well. Now I was a fan of the 44mm size, I still am, but this was the last Apple Watch to bring these two different sizes. In terms of the way they kind of looked before this, we were getting the 38 and 42mm after this. We were getting the 41 and 45mm now. The difference between these screens are fairly large, like if you look at the Series 6 and Series 7, there's actually pretty big difference between those two. So that can be a pretty big change, like if you're somebody who wants to go ahead and buy an Apple Watch you might be getting, you're going to be getting a pretty big difference in a pretty good Apple Watch from the Series 6. But also the Series 7 is going to be bringing you a little bit of a bigger change from that perspective as well. So kind of keep that in mind, I'm a big fan of the Apple Watch Series 6, but I think the Series 7 was definitely a big improvement here. On the side of this Apple Watch, you're getting that digital crown and that side button as well. So you can easily just go through and just click those side buttons if you want to. So it's kind of a cool thing going on for this particular watch too, which is a really good advantage on the back side. You're getting the wireless charging pad, so you can easily go ahead and just plug this thing on the back of this particular device and you can easily charge this thing and kind of move on from there. And that's kind of a cool thing going on for this. This particular watch is well nothing else on the other side of this watch, but you are getting the bands now. The really cool thing about this particular watch is that with its band, you can easily just go ahead and just plug these bands and just kind of use them as you want to. That was actually a very cool thing going on for this particular watch and the reason why I like this watch so much. And all the Apple watches is that you can mix and match all the bands from one Apple watch to the other as long as they're the same size and this was actually a very cool thing going on for this particular watch. And I was a massive fan of this because you can actually go ahead and just use this watch and use it as you would. And it's a pretty cool advantage because all the watches are going to be the same in terms of the bands. So that was something that was very cool as well. Without a doubt massive fan of this Apple Watch and I would definitely tell you from the exterior it still looks very very good now. The only gripe I have with these particular older Apple Watches, like I said before, is with its displays. Other than that, though it still looks very good now. This Apple Watch had the S6 chip inside, now these chipsets were very good. I'm talking like these were very good Apple Watches and very good chipsets, and no matter really what you're going to do on an Apple Watch. If you're you are going to be somebody who's going to be using your Apple Watch a lot and you're going to want to just max out your, I guess your Apple Watch Apple library and the things you're going to do within your Apple Watch, then you would need a Series 6 or above to kind of be able to do those things for you. So to kind of sum it up, I think an Apple Watch Series 6 is a very good middle ground of being an Apple Watch. That you know good to buy and you know very good to have. 
and you can keep it for many years or at least like two, three years. So that's kind of how I feel about it. To be honest, if you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comments section below. Hit the like button, know me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else. I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.